Belvedere, and we're going to show you this beautiful Activa 52 2009, just a really nice, uh, nice boat that's um, all decked out. It's a Sky Lounge. Sky Lounge being the uh, bridge deck is fully enclosed. It's air conditioned up there. It's a good place to get away on the bay. It's also heated. Um, so it's a great place to, um, to run the boat from and get a good view. And uh, we're gonna take you on down and show you the boat. All right, here we are on uh, Freedom 2, the Activa uh, 52, 2009 Activa 52. First thing you'll notice on this boat as you're approaching from the rear are the staples. Um, these are great feature on the boat. So when you're on the swim platform, you uh, have some security. They do come up if you uh, want to remove them and get more access to the swim uh, platform. Um, and access on this boat's real easy. It's just step on onto the swim platform and uh, here you are on the back of the boat. You have a nice d big door here that swings in to give you access to the uh, aft cockpit. Um, and back here, everything's um, non-skid. So the whole boat is, uh, of course, fiberglass uh, with uh, built-in non-skid. Um, <clears throat> and you have this nice little area back here. You got a couple seats back here. You could actually add a couple more. Things about this cockpit back here is uh, you have a deep freeze. So just open this up and get a really, really deep, uh, deep freeze here um, for keeping your fish, all the fish that you catch or um, your ice for your drink. Sink with a faucet, hot and cold running faucet and some storage. Um, you've got a barbecue over here on the back stern um, that's uh, great for cooking outdoors. Um, <clears throat> and you got a couple chairs. Down below this hatch is the access to the engine room and we'll get back to that after we go through the, the rest of the boat. Entrance into the salon is through this stainless steel heavy duty door um, that has a automatic lock. So you just open it up and it'll stay right there. Uh, and then come on inside and we'll show you around on the inside. We're in the salon on the Activa 52 and you can see it's a beautiful salon, nice, um, nice view outside, big windows. Um, the teak is just gorgeous through this boat. Um, it's got a nice set tee over here. You can seat about four comfortably. Um, little uh, storage area, side table with drawers, Got a little cocktail table, you can put your cocktails here. Um, over on this side, uh, we've got a trash compactor. Uh, makes it nice and conv convenient, compact all your trash. Uh, you got a big, looks like a 50 inch TV, um, flat screen with a Bose system and an Apple TV hooked up to the iPad. Um, you see the Bose speakers around the boat. Um, <clears throat> and then back here, you've got the uh, wine cooler. That'll keep you going for a weekend. And there's a nice um, lock here so that it doesn't fly open when you're out running around. And then up here is your circuit breaker panel, all your controls for all of your uh, lights and electrical devices. This boat's fully air conditioned. Uh, there's six units uh, throughout the boat, including the flybridge or, or um, sky lounge. Um, <clears throat> and you can see some vents throughout the boat. The floors on these boats, the soles are teak and holly, solid teak and holly, um, really well done. Uh, this boat was uh, a Howard Apollino design and built in Taiwan. Uh, one of the local dealers here uh, was uh, the, the broker on this boat um, and helped with the design of the boat. Uh, so it's lived in the bay the whole time. Um, <clears throat> one of the unique features of this Sky Lounge on this particular boat is as we look forward, you'll see there's no lower helm. And <clears throat> that gives us a couple advantages. We have this day bed up here, or actually you could sleep on it at night um, underneath the stars and it also gives us a third stateroom down below which we'll see when we go down below. You have this nice L-shaped galley um, <clears throat> with granite countertops that are really pretty. Um, <clears throat> big double stainless steel sink uh, with a pull-out 
faucet. Um, and it has a uh, garbage disposal built in as well, which is really nice on boats. And I'm not quite sure why there aren't more boats with that, but this boat does have a nice garbage disposal. Um, moving this way, you've got a three burner propane stove um, with nice big burners so you can cook a full meal here. Um, some drawers for your silverware. And below that is your dishwasher. So you got a nice Fisher Paykel uh, drawer dishwasher. And it turns out that you actually save water when you use a dishwasher over hand washing. Um, and then on this side, either one, a refrigerator or a freezer. And these slide out, tons of room in here, easy access. It's just like being at home in your own kitchen at home, um, except you got a better view here. Uh, you can see throughout, you've got really nice storage. Over here, we have the settee, which seats four people as well. Um, so you can be sitting here cooking on the one side um, and have your little uh, meal here. And over here is the uh, bed that I mentioned earlier, the day bed or, or um, actually a night bed. That's a nice, uh, about a queen size. Go down the steps. To, uh, curves uh, staircase down to the uh, staterooms and bathrooms. Coming down the staircase into the uh, into uh, the sleeping area, we have three staterooms. We've got a guest stateroom, which is actually the VIP stateroom over on the starboard side. We have a smaller guest stateroom that's a single berth on the uh, port side. And straight ahead, we have the master stateroom, which is big queen berth with its own head. On the starboard side, we also have a head here for both easy access from the VIP stateroom or from uh, guests coming down and using it for a day head. Let's go into the smaller stateroom first on the port side. Then I'll take you to the starboard stateroom, the VIP stateroom, and then into the uh, master stateroom all the way forward. We're in the guest stateroom on the port side and uh, it's, a, it's a single berth, um, good for an adult or a child. <clears throat> All the walls are solid teak um, and really well done. So all, this boat is in really good condition throughout the boat. You don't see scratches or anything. It's been well taken care of. I also wanted to point out the washer dryer that's uh, right here, easy access from uh, from any of the staterooms um, and out of the VIP stateroom. Um, so here's your washer dryer. And below the washer dryer is just some storage. So you can put dirty clothes in there or whatever you want to store in there. Great little area for storage. Now we're in the VIP stateroom on the starboard side and you can see it's really a big stateroom. Um, you got probably seven foot height here, maybe more. I mean, I can't even touch the top. You got a, a modified queen size bed. It's a little narrower down at the foot. You've got a couple opening hatches in the side of the boat uh, with, uh, with storm covers. It's really nice if you're out to sea and you're in really rough seas, you can put these storm covers on. Lots of storage on the boat. There's Storage underneath, all these open up for storage. There's a little mirror here for your guests to use. On this side we have more storage. This is a really good size storage here. There's uh, three levels, uh, really deep. You could fit a lot of clothes in there. Um, you could even put some uh, suitcases in there if you needed to to get them out of the way. In the head, you've got uh, nice marble countertops, um, medicine cabinet with plenty of room, with mirrors, storage underneath the sink. The head is an electric head um, <clears throat> for ease of use. And then the really nice thing is around the corner, you got this full height shower. It's probably six, five, six, six. Um, lots of room in here. Separate shower. It's got a, it's got a folding door. 
so you can close this off and keep everything that gets wet inside here and you have an opening window as, as well, opening port with a storm cover on it. So another view from the head, this is access from the hallway. So your guest in the guest stateroom can have access to this head or any of your guests um, that are out for the day, if they just want to use the head, um, this is the uh, access to that. Here we are in the master stateroom. You can see it's a big queen size bed. Um, again, big headroom here. That's probably close to seven feet, I would guess. Um, <clears throat> lots of room in the in this stateroom. You have access on either side of the bed. Um, there's actually steps up here, so you can climb up onto the bed easily. And uh, you've got uh, opening hatches on either side, so you get some light in, as well as a big overhead hatch uh, with a screen and also... Um, a shade here we've got um, good storage you got a hanging locker here um, same on the other side you've also got a couple um, places for storage up here um, some shell on this side of the stateroom you've also got the same storage so you've got a hanging locker here this door here is access to your private head um, with shower and this is a, a nice head, plenty of room in here, um, big sink, um, <clears throat> marble countertops, medicine cabinet with lots of room, uh, electric head, and again, full-size stand-up shower, probably close to seven-foot uh, headroom in the shower with an opening port for ventilation. Um, <clears throat> and a sliding door for closure. All right, we're gonna go up to the Sky Lounge, up these curved steps. Um, nice big handrail here, easy to hold on to, uh, quite secure. As you come up the steps, you got this nice uh, bridge deck that has a nice 10-foot uh, Zodiac. Um, looks like new, um, it's in really good condition, it keeps it covered, and there's a 25 horsepower four-stroke Yamaha um, outboard on the back. Um, and over on the side here is the crane that uh, is hydraulic. Um, and you can put it out, pin comes out, goes up, locks in, and there's your crane ready to go, ready to lift your boat off uh, and put it in the water and go have some fun running around on the dinghy. Stainless steel frames, stainless steel door, um, heavy duty glass, safety glass, uh, really well done. High gloss finish on it. And then you got the windows all the way around. So you have a 360 degree view uh, from the Sky Lounge. And you've got these uh, STID seats um, <clears throat> that are top quality uh, and gives you full, full view of the entire, um, entire area that you're driving through. Right of the uh, helm, we have a FLIR um, infrared camera control right here that shows up up on your Raymarine uh, uh, multifunction displays. You have a Maxwell chain counter and windlass control, uh, Fireboy control here, and Spotlight control here. This is your ICOM <clears throat> um, M324 VHF radio. Uh, this is controls for your Raymarine E120 multifunction displays that has not only the, the infrared, but it also has a camera in the engine room. Um, <clears throat> your autopilot, your Raymarine autopilot. This is your engine, SmartCraft engine controls for the QSM11 Cummins engines. And this is a speaker for your, for your ICOM. Um, across the top is all your engine controls, uh, digital, or excuse me, analog gauges, as well as digital. Um, <clears throat> Raymarine E120 displays, uh, there's two of them, so you can set one up on radar, and this boat does have radar, as well as AIS. Um, you can set the other one up on a chart so you can get whatever you want up here. You can also put uh, your cameras on these displays. Uh, you have your bilge controls here, your start and stop for each engine. 
uh, a light panel so you know what lights are on for your navigation and whether your bilge pumps are going on or not. Uh, wiper controls. And then this is your Onan uh, start panel for your 13.5 kW Onan generator. Continuing on, we've got the electronic engine controls. Um, <clears throat> so you've got one, um, one control for each engine. Uh, and you also have uh, trolling and syncing on this engine. So you can uh, troll uh, down at slower speeds if you need to, if you're fishing or just moving along slowly. Um, <clears throat> and you can sync the engines as well. This here is a control for this Ray Marine. This is a tri-data that gives you uh, uh, speed, depth, and temperature. Um, this is your other SmartCraft engine controller. Uh, digital multimeter here. You've got <clears throat> your Bennett trim tabs with a display so you know where those trim tabs are. It's always nice to know where they are. And then <clears throat> These two uh, joysticks are bow and stern thruster with a nine horsepower uh, bow thruster. Another uh, speaker for your Ray Marine radio, and this is a controller, a fusion controller for your stereo. On the front here, you've got a controller for your VHF. Um, this is a Ray Marine 240 VHF. Um, so it's redundant controller. And this is a backup throttle. <clears throat> um, so in case these fail, you can still uh, control the engine. Well, and you do have opening windows on either side and on the back if you just want to get some fresh air flowing through here. We're going to walk forward on the side decks of this Activa 52. Um, they're nice, uh, ample side decks. Uh, you got really big bulwarks here um, with a heavy duty uh, uh, railing. So you got plenty of uh, safety as you go forward, something to hold on to, uh, really sturdy. So follow me forward and we'll go take a look at the bow. Up three steps. You have this really nice expansive bow with this nice big flat area you can hang out on, bring some cushions up here, relax. It's got a, a nice stainless steel hatch that goes into the uh, owner's cabin down there. And then forward, um, you got a serious anchoring system. Um, big anchor pulpit uh, with a uh, Maxwell 2200 vertical windlass. Um, chain doesn't look like it's ever been used and it's a 45 pound I think it's an ultra anchor which are one of the best with a uh, with a chain stopper as well and you'll also notice that the sides are built up here so if you're bringing this chain up and anchor and it's all muddy you're not going to get the rest of the deck muddied up it'll uh, it'll retain that the mud in this well uh, <clears throat> You got foot switches here, and you can also control the anchor from the helm. Let's take a peek inside here. So here's your chain locker. Um, it's divided. The one side is all chain, and there's a lot of chain in there. I would suspect there's 300 feet or more. There's also a washdown hose. So when you do bring the anchor up, you can be washing it down, washing all the mud off. Um, and then there's a second uh, spare road there, uh, rope road, in case you need a backup. And then going down the other side, same, similar to the uh, port side, uh, wide side decks all the way down uh, with a nice uh, railing um, for safety. Here we are on the back deck of the Activa 52, and this is the access to the engine room. And you're in for a treat in this engine room. You can just about eat off the floor down here. I'll open up the hatch. There's a nice rail on the hatch that you can grab a hold of. Nice steps going down into the engine room. Okay, here we are in the Lazarette before we get into the actual engine room. And uh, this is an equipment room, I would call it, not really a Lazarette. And 
it's really laid out well. So all of your uh, returns and, and feeds are right here. Um, you can see everything in yellow is fuel. Uh, everything's color coded on the boat. Um, and it's all nice and neat and it's all secured. Um, the workmanship on the boat's really nice. Uh, there's handrails throughout down here. Going forward, this is a, all your batteries are right here. Here's your battery boxes uh, for both the, uh, the start batteries as well as your house banks. It's easy access. You just have to undo the little clips and lift up the cover and AGMs. And you can see, again, the workmanship throughout the boat. Nice. Everything's wire tied. Everything's neat and combed. Um, <clears throat> nice and clean. Uh, nice AGMs that you don't have to worry about about putting um, water in and checking them. So they're maintenance free. It's really nice. Here in the equipment room, uh, Lazarette, we have a panel here that has all of your uh, battery switches, including your house battery, your inverter, your genset your um, <clears throat> port engine battery, your starboard engine. There's also the parallel down here. You have your stern thruster battery switch here. And on the other side is the uh, bow thruster battery switch. In the corner, you have your inverter. You got two battery chargers. Uh, one is for your start batteries and the other is for the rest of the batteries. And you got an inverter bypass switch over there as well. Behind this door, stern thruster battery switch and your Onan 13.5 kW generator big enough to run the air conditioning on this boat. Um, easy access, just turn these two knobs and easy access, you can check your oil or um, just check the, the uh, generator. On this side is the hurricane heater that we talked about previously. There's an isolation transformer here, so you're totally isolated when you plug into the docks. You got uh, two hydraulic cylinders, one for either side in, with a tie bar. Um, your autopilot is tied into those uh, hydraulic cylinders. Um, <clears throat> the rudder posts are easy to get to. The stuffing box on the rudders are easy to get to. Um, <clears throat> and you can actually see them pretty easily. So you can just come down here. Take a quick glance. You can see if your steering gear is okay. So going forward into this um, th this tight, airtight door is the engine compartment itself, where we'll see a, a pair of QSM 11 Cummins 670 horsepower uh, common rail injection engines. So come on forward into the engine room. It's easy access. Um, <clears throat> You got the uh, QSM 11s on either side here. Uh, they're in great condition. They've had uh, their, their regular maintenance. Um, <clears throat> the motor mounts are nice and clean. The engine beds are uh, topped with a stainless steel, ri steel rail. Um, so they're really solid. Um, <clears throat> forward on either side is the strainers. Nice big uh, uh, Groco strainers. Um, easy to access and on the uh, port side you have another strainer that goes into the pump for the air conditioning cooling water and that comes up into a manifold that feeds the air conditioning systems which you can see on either side there's two on either side um, so four air conditioning units down here um, <clears throat> behind me on the wall is two um, SmartCraft engine control panels, as well as some switches. So rather than having to have somebody up on the helm, if you need to work on the engine, start the engine, run them up, um, do any, anything on these engines, you can actually do it right here from these panels. And you can see all the, uh, all the statistics on the engine, temperature, oil pressure, things like that. So really nice uh, feature on the um, having them down here in the engine room one of the other things i hadn't mentioned was there's a, another set of engine controls on the back deck so if you're back in the boat and you can actually drive it from the back deck port side there's also a big fireboy system 
um, with an automatic engine shutdown. So if there, you ever had a fire in here, you could shut, um, <clears throat> shut the engines down automatically and the uh, Fireboy system would put the fire out. Let's switch sides. Kevin. On this side, we have the engine uh, fuel filtration system. So we have dual Raycor 75900 Max. Um, and they're dual, so if you have a, a problem with, with uh, one of the filters, all you have to do is flip a switch here, and now you're running on the other filter. Um, so we have that on both sides of the engine. Um, up above is the uh, fuel manifold. Um, <clears throat> easy, to, easy to see. Again, all the yellow um, color is for the uh, diesel fuel. Um, there's blowers. Back here, there's uh, four, actually four blowers in this engine room. Um, <clears throat> battery box here for the uh, stern thruster. Um, <clears throat> and then this is the back side of your battery switches here, so you can see them. Um, but nice and clean engine room. Fuel tanks are outboard. Uh, there are sight gauges on, on the fuel tanks, so you can open them up and uh, see what the uh, actual fuel is, uh, which is pretty handy. Um, the, the engine room is all sound insulated, and if you really had to do big work on these engines, you could lift up these, uh, p these ceiling or floor panels um, <clears throat> to get uh, full standing head height and get more access to the engine. That's the 2009 Activa 52 that we have for sale here at Atomic Tuna. Give us a shout. Uh, we'll, we'll do a virtual tour for you. Um, and on our website, there is a virtual tour you can take for yourself. Uh, and then uh, let us know. Give us a call, and uh, we'll do a private tour for you as well. <laughs>20-year wait list, you know, it's not just a yacht club, as many as many other clubs are. And so um, you definitely want to make sure you get a boat and get it in the slip. So, so you were out looking for another boat, and what's the story, Tracy? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we have a big family, so we were looking for a boat that can actually house our family overnight more than just the Grand Banks had that just had a deep berth. Um, so that was tough uh, to take the family out. So we were looking for something a little bit bigger, a couple more staterooms. And we were here in Alameda and stumbled across this a few years back and uh, did a tour, did a trial, and bought it. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, the Grand Banks, which is a great a great boat for a small family. Yeah. And, uh, we have two boys. Uh, they're both over six feet today. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> they're not boys. No. In, no, in, the 30, no. in the 38, there's a dinette that holds down, and it's a bed. Yes. But it got to the point where their heads were pushing up against the cushions and the 
feet were as well. So yeah. <laughs> we had to get something a little bit more accommodating. And this boat does that. It's got two two full state rooms and then a, a single berth, uh, which I think was initially done for a, a cat. Um, but the kids love that, you know, the single berth as well. And then it's a unique design because uh, down below, there's no steering station, though there's remotes down below to, to accommodate, but um, there's a day bed uh, down below. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. yeah. And so, in fact, the past owners said that that was the, the best part about the boat because they can yeah. sleep there. Because as you go up to the forward part of it, you look right through the windshield and see the stars right at night. You just don't want to sit up too quick. You don't want to sit up too <laughs> no, quick. No, no, no. But it's uh, but it's an interesting design. It's very open and it gives a lot more room down below. Yeah, cool. Master suite. Cool. So Tracy, what's your favorite part of the boat? You're gonna ask me that. Um, I think my most favorite part of the boat really is is the comfort of home. I mean, you know, given the, the full galley, just garbage disposal, dishwasher, the washer dryer. Um, we've taken this up the Delta, stayed for a week on the boat. Um, really, really comfortable. Felt like kind of a home away from home. Um, you know, it's, it's super spacious downstairs inside has air conditioning for the Delta, yeah. which is super important in the yeah. summer. And um, in fact, there's air conditioning up here. Which is really handy. So going up the Delta can be a bit quite hot, um, but it's very comfortable and and it's you know there's enough space to put everything away where it's not crowded. So that's what I like the most. All right, John, what's your favorite part? Uh, having Tracy on the boat. <laughs> uh, Good answer. Yeah, smart. Yeah, that's right. Um, I, I would say where we are right now, the, the Sky Lounge. Uh, this is uh, fully enclosed, all glass, got a beautiful door on the back. Um, it looks like a, you know, a spaceship a little bit. Uh, we've got the glass flybridge here, but on the bay, it can get cold. And if you have a flybridge, which you, everyone wants because you get a little vantage point and you're up a little higher, you don't want to be covered in plastic all the time if you can avoid it. Yeah. And so this is air conditioned, it's heated, it's got refrigeration up here. Um, sound system. Sound system, and then it's very quiet. You're shutting the back door and you're in your way, and it's, it's uh, really knocks the noise down. And, um, and it's a, as you can tell, it's a, it's a tremendous vantage point to just you know see nature and, and so on. So that's probably the, the favorite part of the boat. Yeah, it's it's really nice sitting up here. You got great view, um, fully enclosed. And uh, Tracy was talking about air conditioning. Heat's just as important <laughs> yes, on San Francisco is. Bay, right? So yeah. be up here, nice and toasty, yeah. sitting and having your coffee, cruising around the bay. It's just great vantage point up here. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> really, really nice. Um, so tell us a couple of your trips around. You, you mentioned uh, the Delta. Yeah, we we uh, we used the boat in the bay a lot, and so we were just talking about going to South Beach Harbor and then staying overnight for a Giants game, having dinner in town, and then coming back the next day. And that's something we do a fair bit. And we visit the other clubs, uh, yeah. St. Francis Yacht Club. We we go over there and pick up a slip for a night uh, or two, and then uh, see our kids in the city and you know, do a tour and whatnot. It's almost like a floating condominium, if you will. Yeah. Um, over here at Jack London, and then of course up in the Bay, Tinsley Island, Delta Island. Um, it's Richard a great Venetia. place to go. Venetia. Venetia. That's, a nice place. It's a it? nice town yeah. too, yeah. really cute. You can walk. Yeah. Um, we'll bring our dog, this thing. we have a dog. So oh, we'll bring her along yeah. with us, and um, yeah. she's great on the boat, and all the different marinas we go to, they're great for pets, so we take her out with us, and she's, uh, she's a good boat dog too. Yeah, what kind she's of dog? Nice. She's an English Springer Spaniel. English Springer, all right. And she comes up here? Oh, yeah. She does. Oh, yeah. So another nice thing about this boat is you actually have steps up here, not yeah. ladder. That's but, true. <clears throat> yes, indeed. So a dog can come up and yeah. down, no problem at yeah. all? Yeah, no problem. No, it's really easy, and the, and the dog loves the boat. Um, but, uh, yeah. but yeah, you know, and it's, it's, it's very comfortable, as Tracy has said. You talked about heat. It's got two different heating systems, of course, the air conditioner in reverse. Uh, but also has a hurricane heating system in it and that's you know um, we'll, we'll do all the rooms in the entire boat just on the diesel fuel that's in the boat as well um the past owners put pretty much every option in the boat that you could imagine from night vision to you know water makers to uh, you know all of the gear we, we upgraded all the electronics when we first did three years ago um as well as we did redundant everything on the boat from vhf radios to you know, systems that run the, the engines in the event that the electronics goes out or anything like that. So, um, so you got manual uh, throttles and yep. 
<clears throat> I think the other thing about the boat that's, that we learned because we stepped up, we were in a 38 and then we come to a 52, was uh, would we be able to handle the boat just the two of us, right? Yeah, good question. It's, yeah. An, it's important, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. And so we have little headsets, which are downstairs, because uh, no screaming is allowed in the boat. No, <laughs> no, no but it's not good for the marriage. No. 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 And, and of course, uh, so anyway, we, we, we had the headsets on. Uh, it's got balanced stern thrusters. And of course, it's a balanced twin, stern thrusters, balanced. right? And it's, a, it's a twin screw as well. So it is super easy to get anywhere on the boat. And um, Tracy will, will monitor down below. I stay up here, although there's a cockpit um, control station that you can be on the back. But I just like the vantage point of being up here a little bit better. She's my eyes down below. We can move right in, um, as you saw in the transom. It's um, it's at the same level as the dock, and you simply get close enough and just step right off. Yeah. And that transom is big enough so you feel safe on that. Oh yeah. On the, the swim step down there. I do. Yeah. And then you, you rely on on John to put the boat in, so you don't have to jump. Yeah. yeah. No I, jumping I, allowed. No, no jumping no, allowed. No, no, no. That's a, actually a rule of ours. And anybody else is on the boat with us. And yeah, everybody, everybody stays, stays on except for me. I'm the one that gets off. Yeah. And I, I wasn't a big boater before this, so that that's oh, really? no, huh? This is new for me, and um, because the thirty eight, he could handle it on his own. So yeah. this is something new that I've had to learn to do. It's been very easy, I would say. And you know, it's a big boat, so big boat, it's yeah. it's she's she's big, but um, it's it's been really we, yeah. we handle it pretty easily now. I mean, it, you know, you get used to it and figure out how far you are from the dock and, and whatnot. And I talk him in, and she's gotten she's gotten good at that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we had to get it down. Yeah, <laughs> because at first, she, wants, she wants to tell you everything, right? right? This is what's going on over here. Look over here. <laughs> you have no way to understand that, right? So, in one job, you just tell me how far I am in feet from the dock. Two, <laughs> three, four, five. Two, three, four. And so yeah. she, she, she does that. Really yeah, well. yeah. So it's yeah. much easier, but it's it's an easily it's easy to handle, which is great for us. So there's no nerves or. No yelling, no, no yelling. Just, yeah, no. Let's, let's go have a cocktail. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, the no. kids love the dinghy too. I think that's a, that's yeah. a 14 foot, um, you know, Zodiac with a 25 horsepower Yamaha on that and, and, and a crane that will get it off the side. And it just uh, does a great job uh, on the bay and uh, off the Delta um, for, the, for them to go fishing and do whatever they need to do. Yeah. And for us to kind of ferry back and forth, we also <laughs> will do Angel Island. We'll pick a ball off an Angel Island. Yeah, it's six minutes in the dinghy back to the San Francisco club. Yacht Club. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we 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 in the afternoon we grab a, a mooring ball and then we come back to the club, have dinner, and then go back to the boat. Yeah, yeah. Staycation. Yeah, it's a staycation. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you went up to the Delta. Yeah. A few times. How was that trip or those trips? They're fine. Yeah. I mean, um, you know, there's a couple different ways to get up to Tinsley or to Delta Island there, and so. Uh, you know, I had to get a little confidence to go the the inner route. The inner route, yeah. On, uh, Frank's track. Frank's track. Frank's track. Yeah, Frank's exactly. Track. Yeah. But you know, the thought was that you know you can get pretty shallow there, and you have to watch where you are, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, so I went up with a couple other people, and they kind of guided us through. So that's the way we go today. And as mm -hmm. the, the boat uh, drafts about five feet, so it's not it's not too bad that way. Um, but we we don't race up. You know, we, we go up with the two Cummins 635s, uh, QSM 11 engines in it. So QSM, those are yeah. great engines. Yeah. And they're pretty fuel efficient, but I, I don't like to push it. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, we'll go up at about 13, 14 knots. And it's well, really cruising speed. We always stop in speed. Pittsburgh for fuel. Yeah. <laughs> you fuel up Pittsburgh because it's cheaper yeah, up there. Yeah, yeah, we fuel yeah. in Pittsburgh. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so we love, we love to go up to Tinsley Island. Our club does cruise out to different places. We belong to the Delta Yacht Club. Two and a half years, yeah, um, years, which is a great little club to go to. Uh, they take dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Swimming pool is heated. Yeah. Um, it's good. It's a, it's a very small club compared to Tinsley, as you probably are aware. Yeah. But uh, but it's a great trip to go yeah. up there. And it's interesting. You know, it's a big boat, but it's very stable. And, you know, it can get a little dicey going to Delta. Yeah. It's and that really blow up right. there. Yeah. 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 We've been on the boat here in Sausalito at 50 knots, mm -hmm. um, yeah, up here, and we had yeah. actually we had guests out that day. Yeah, and uh, yeah. you know, there weren't too many other people out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. but but, yeah. Uh, but it was you know it's very stable and it's very heavy and it just you know kind of cuts through it, um, so no issues. And uh, and with the thrusters, it's easy enough to dock. Um, mm -hmm. 
not at 46 knots. <laughs> it's a little tougher. Putting the slip. We still did. We still got her in the slip. <laughs> we did well. It was kind of 19 or so when we got her to the yeah. slip. But, oh yeah. yeah. But that's still pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah for sure. For sure. But, yeah. yeah, that's great. So what's the next book? Something a little bigger. Uh, a little we bigger. Have, we have a place in Mexico, and we thought about bringing this to Mexico because it's set up to do that. It's also set up to go to the Pacific Northwest. And, with the heaters in it and whatnot. Oh, this would be a great Pacific Northwest. Yeah. 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 So, absolutely great. Yeah. So, you know, we're thinking something 65, uh, wow. 70 feet. Yeah. A little bit bigger, not too big. So something we can still handle ourselves. Still handle. Yeah. 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 And um, uh, and then we would do a little bit more coastal cruising, you know, with that. Mm -hmm. uh, this is perfectly fine to do that. We go off the coast a bit as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, so that's the idea. Have you guys taken the boat down to uh, Hepburn Bay or Monterey? Or anything? We have. Yeah. Yeah. We've gone out uh, left and right out of the gate, you know, up to Stinson and then down south outside of Hepburn Bay, but we, we have not pulled in. Yeah. And you yeah. can fish off this boat. Oh, yeah, for sure. We yeah. have? You have, yeah. yeah. yeah the boys yeah. do. And the transom in the back is great because it's quite big. And then it's got the safety bars in the back yeah. that are removable and they come all the way forward. Um, so, you know, we, we remove them and put the dinghy on the back and it makes it really easy. Uh, but yeah, you can fish off the boat as well, for sure. Yeah, oh, this is this is a great boat. I mean, somebody looking for a boat to hang around the bay or go long distances, yeah. this would be a perfect boat. Um, <clears throat> when you went from your 38 foot to your 52 foot, what were your challenges? The biggest one and the fear was that, you know, Tracy would be uncomfortable on the boat and that, you know, docking it or even taking over and driving the boat and, you know, those kinds of things. Uh, because it's it's a bigger boat, um, but but she did she was able to handle it. I think you know getting confidence on the boat, and you know how this goes. I mean, you get on, and you understand how it maneuvers and goes left and right, forward back. You understand what the controls are, because if something happens to me, you know she has to be able to take over. Right. 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 And then docking, you know, is always the challenge, right? And you don't want to look like an idiot, of course, especially in your own yacht club, <laughs> when everybody's sitting on the on the deck cool. watching you come in. Right. Uh, but, we, we found a way to kind of just kind of glide in and just touch it. And so uh, having that confidence, you know, and getting to that point, I think was the biggest concern. Yeah, um, it didn't take long, but it was, it was pretty good. But the other parts of it you love, like I said, I mean, it's great for family. And it's yeah. got a room and everybody can get on board and have a great time um, with our friends. And, and so and that's the idea. So boys still like to go out? They do once we're in college, again. so he's once gone. So um, <laughs> when he comes back, yeah, in fact, Mother's Day is coming up. So yeah, Happy Mother's Day! I think we're gonna have to have a little Mother's Day cruise because <laughs> can't go to restaurants at the moment. Oh, so I know, I know. <laughs> you know, I, I think about you know boating out here. I always think about going to Jack London or going right. going to South Beach or yeah. going out to a restaurant. That's <laughs> Not, not yet. Not yet. Not we'll, yet. We'll, get we'll yeah. get back to it. We'll definitely get back to it. Yeah, for sure. How are you guys dealing with the social distancing? I, you know, like everybody else, I mean, it's frustrating, I think. You know? um, and with two boys that, you know, home from college and high school. Home, yeah. Which is, you know, eating. Oh, right. Eating is school is I have no, no food left yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but, yeah. You know, I've taken the boat out a couple times during yeah. this. Yeah. And uh, yeah. in fact, um, except for the weather today, we we're going to go up to China Camp oh, and yeah. anchor out with uh, other boats from our yacht club. Uh, wow. But they postponed it to later next week. So. We'll probably do that. We'll go and stay for a couple days and have the dinghy and you know have fun. Yeah. So anchoring this boat, no problem. No. No problems. Um, We've done it for Fleet Week, right out in uh, Christie Fields. Yeah. Uh, we anchored time, out yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, for Fleet I Week, see for the Blue you guys out there now that you mentioned. Yeah. It. Yeah, pretty close sure. to shore. It's easy. To, yeah, no problems. Yeah. So yeah, it's got a great anchor in the front, yeah. um, and it's controlled from up here as well. And then I have an aft anchor as well that we put the dinghy down and we pull it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. cool. Very cool. So. But yeah, for sure. All right. So 2009 Activa 52, um, <clears throat> great boat. Asking price is $539. we are doing a special at Boat Show for $499. $499. Get it. And uh, Joan at Trident Funding is giving away $300 on the title. Um, and we're matching that. So no title costs on, on buying this boat. So uh, oh, yeah. Oh well, yeah, one other thing too for the viewers. It's uh, the boat's in an LLC. Oh, so right. No tax. Even more Sales important. Tax. So we're going to probably talk about that in our legal seminar this afternoon, but um, that saves on sales tax. So yep. Yep. 
buy the boat at four ninety nine, and you don't have to pay that extra forty thousand, forty eight thousand, or right. um, for sales tax. So you get um, really nice value for that too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yes, Thanks, this Wayne. is okay, great. Thanks, we Wayne. really enjoy uh, talking with you guys, and uh, we appreciate you bringing the boat over here. And um, you know, we, we look forward to uh, selling the boat for you and finding you another boat. Yeah. There great. You go. Perfect. Thanks All right. So much. Okay. Thanks, Thanks, everybody.